This is the best run play to use in Madden 23 that no one knows about. Run. It has overpowered blocking. Can be run in any direction. What? Psych! And might be the most explosive run play in the game. So if you want to see what brand new run play I'm using to get results like this, stick around after the intro. For the cheapest, fastest, most reliable muck coins in the market, check out my coin sponsors at AOEAH.com and use discount code MONEY for 3% off. Link in the description below. In today's video, I'm going to break down the best run play out of my new favorite offense, the Pittsburgh Steelers playbook, as I've been using this playbook for over a month now for all my gameplays, and I just recently finished their brand new ebook, which is available right now. Link in the description and Woo! top pin comment, as well as my website, madmoneyshot.com, and it will soon be available on my Patreon and Join Now community tabs as well for all the people that have been waiting for it to come out. But before I get into the video, as always, if you guys are enjoying the content and want to see more, please make sure to be a subscriber, hit the like button, leave it on the comment section, as it really helps out the video and the channel the offense that i'm going to be using today is once again the gun tight doubles as this is probably my favorite offense to use right now i recently put out some gameplays of me using this offense that i'll be using in today's video to show you guys how i use this run play as well as some counter pass plays to keep your opponent guessing throughout the entire game the play itself is a halfback quick base i just started using this offense and this run play and you can see by the average and the plays that i'm going to show you throughout the video that this absolutely destroys people as i'm almost averaging nine yards of carry with it so far this play doesn't require any adjustment as sometimes I just line up and run it as I don't want to give away too much with constant repetitive motions that I'm going to show you in a second. I started using this play like an inside zone since the Steelers playbook doesn't have one in this formation and I needed one to replace it but I found this run play is much more capable and explosive than a regular inside zone anyways. In most running formations you want to have at least one inside and one outside run play so you can attack all areas of the field and the best part of this run play is that it can do both all by itself. The best way to kick this play up a whole nother level as far as blocking is the motion across the tight end to the left side which will give you a bunch look similar to a gun bunch TE which is another good formation to run out of. If your opponent is running man coverage it might not be best to do this as the motion will also pull across the defender and will sometimes make it harder to run into that area. If you're running against zone however this motion will give you a huge blocking advantage as no defender will follow giving you a plus one in the direction of the run play but that plus one instantly turns into a plus two blocking advantage once the pulling guard comes into the area as well making this play an absolute cheat code. If you're going to make this motion however make sure that you always select the running back first then the receiver followed by the tight end this is because there's a glitch in the game that can give away whether you're running or passing to your opponent on defense as you can only select the lineman on run plays and you can't select the lineman on pass plays so if your opponent sees the marker of you controlling a lineman at any point in time they could run commit making running the ball much harder so be aware of that once you make that motion though you can run in three different directions based off of what you see pre-snap if you see a hole right up the middle it's best to try to take it there most of the time but if that hole gets blown up, I will usually bounce it to the left and try to stretch it out behind the three blocking receivers and tight end, as the cornerbacks in that area usually sucks it into the blocks after the start of the play, whether they're in man or zone. If they get caught up here like they usually do, you can turn this play from an inside zone replacement into a sweep or a stretch run replacement just as easily, unlike most run plays. As for whatever reason, this particular run play doesn't force you in any direction. Another really good concept that usually has a lot of success is counter runs, especially in gun formations where there's three receivers on one side of the field and barely any on the other as this works best when your opponent is in man coverage as that means most of the cornerbacks in coverage will be on the other side of the play to match but it will also work if your opponent shifts in the direction of the tight end motion to try to stop the run play as this play is really easy to cut back like most counter runs even though it's not designed to be that way so at any time if you see an opportunity or a light box on the right side pre-snap just slow it down redirect your running back in the other direction and you will notice that there is no one here on the back side to stop the cutback lane resulting in a lot of explosive run room here as well in fact i really don't even know what direction i like to run this play in the most so it makes the pre-snap breeze that much more important it's best to look for obvious run lanes but i would say against man coverages it's best to either run it like a stretch run or a counter run to the outside as the cornerbacks will match the receivers but against zone it's best to run it either up the middle 
or to the outside based off of the coverage that you're looking at. If they're in a cover two zone, it's best to run right up the middle as the safeties drop back post, not making them weaker in run support. But if they're in a cover three or a cover four, it's best to take it outside as the safeties play the run first while the cornerbacks drop back post snap to make edges weaker and run support once again outside. Some passing concepts to use with this motion to keep your opponent honest is to simply motion across the tight end and put them on a drag as this will usually run right across the user's face who will be waiting in the area for the handoff that never comes. So if they fall for this, you'll notice that you get a lot of easy catch and runs as your opponent will be too busy worrying about the run plays. Sometimes I also like to use an old bench concept where I motion across the tight end and put him on a streak while also putting the outside receiver on a flat which will get open against zone or a zig which will get open against man. The flat will get open instantly as the deeper routes will usually pull back the cornerbacks in the area for an easy catch and run underneath while the corner route will also beat cover two zone and man coverages and the tight end can beat cover three zones up the seam as well. So that's that's the video. If you guys enjoyed the content please make sure to be a subscriber hit the like button and let me know in the comment section and if you want to see more from the offenses that I was showing in today's video including some explosive pass plays and one play touchdowns that I showed in a recent gameplay I will have them popping up on screen so just click the links. Other than that thanks for watching man my shit out. Need more help or just want to show your support then head over to my Patreon and join my team where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays as well as early access to my bids and more. Link in the description below.